Coach Drayden and uh, Coach Fickle, Coach Tressel, they were recruiting me out of high school. And then I went to Fort, they wanted me to go to Fort Union. I went to Fort Union and did a mid-year. They told me that Cardale would be there with me and then I would come right in and that's what I did. So Ohio State was a big thing for you with Cardale. Yeah. Michael, G GT had a great season, obviously, but Nick Saban had a kind of an interesting comment after the game the other day and said, like, Cardale's big arm has kind of showcased your guys' speed and opened up the field in a way that he didn't see on film the first 11 games. For as good as JT was, like, how does the offense maybe change a little bit with Cardale and that part of the deep ball? Um, we just have three talented quarterbacks. The thing about that quarterback room is, I mean, Braxton went down. Uh, everyone thought everything was over, but those guys still went to work every day. Those guys still were taking notes. They're still in their playbook. They're still, you know, making – everyone was practicing. They're still getting reps. So I trust all three of them to get the job done, and they're just all talented, and they also all have their own little niche or special thing about them. And like you mentioned, they all have, they all have their own good skill sets. How is the offense maybe a little different with Cardell? Um – Cardell definitely has a strong arm that's very noticeable. But, I mean, I feel comfortable with any of them under center. Cardell said after the game in, in New Orleans that you guys did kind of talk a little bit when you were at Fort Union about being in a, a situation like this at Ohio State. Do you, do you remember those kind of situations, what those dreams I guess you guys had at that time? He says, like, he said at the time it was like an 18 year old and a 16 year old just talking about the future, and now it's come, kind of come to reality. Yeah, I mean, we did. I always was a big, like, dreamer, you know, and we always talked about competing for a national championship. And when we were at Fork Union, we would always just talk about, like, how we were going to come in and play right away and contribute. And then, you know, the ultimate goal is to win a national championship, play at the highest level, you know, win <coughs> games and contribute on that field. And then we've just been blessed to be in the situation. It's all in front of us now. Did you know your foot was in on that touchdown catch? I mean, I... I mean, I made a couple catches like that in practice before, but um, when it came down to it, I figured I got one foot in, but I didn't know if it was on half of it was on the line or half of it wasn't. But I didn't know I didn't know I had twisted my foot like that completely, but <laughs> somehow I did. I assume you watched the replay then. Yeah. Were you holding your breath or? Um, yeah, I didn't know. I I thought it literally probably was like I had the ball of my foot in, and then maybe some on the line, but. I don't know how I just like twisted my foot to be completely in to you make it. The best catcher. Um, I wouldn't. I mean, it would be up there, but I wouldn't consider it the best catch of my career. Best I mean, I mean, yeah, probably. But it's it's you know, I mean, I feel like I still have a lot of room left. I feel like I just need to make a play and help my team get some he momentum. Like it. Yeah, he was impressed with it, but I mean, that play won't win this game, so I got to make more plays. If that wasn't the best catcher career, what was? Um, I just to could be, to be continued. I guess I wouldn't I wouldn't say like any catch was my best catch of my career, but just to be to be continued. We've seen you. I remember in that end zone on Student Appreciation Day a couple back in April. Yeah. You were making catches like that, like a couple of them where it was just Cardell threw the ball up and you had to go up and get it. Yeah, that's the only hard part because those those type of catches I make in practice, they're not like a lot of people don't get to see on Saturday, so. Sometimes they're like hit or miss. So to be able to make them on Saturday in front of a crowd is, I guess, reaping the benefits. Do you think your receiving core is kind of going under the radar? Maybe not now, but at least for most of the season? Um, not exactly. We have a lot of playmakers, you know, and we there's only one ball being spread around. And then we also have a talented running back. So sometimes we'll only be in for like three plays, Zeke might break an 85-yarder, someone might do something crazy. So I feel like we haven't gone under the radar, but when we get our chance to prove ourselves, we prove ourselves. Do you think the season's already a success? Do you consider it a success already? It won't be a success until we finish it. So, I mean, it's not, it's not done yet. We still have one more mission.